Okay, what we're going to do is try and find p of theta. So what we really need is to find a number between 0 and 2 pi or between minus 2 pi and 0 such that p of that number will be the same as p of this number. And we do the usual thing. We divide this by 2 pi and see what we get. Now in this case, when we do the division, we will only get an approximate answer. So we'd have to approximate 2 pi, do the long division, and it would be very long, but a computer calculator can do it. And that's what I will do. So you see, if we <clears throat> do the division, we get 12.096, and therefore this number here, theta, 76, is equal to 12 times 2 pi plus 0.096 times 2 pi. Now you see this stuff we can totally ignore because all that does is it just takes us around the circle all the way around 12 times. And so p of the of this theta is the same as p of this number here. So really all I have to do now is find the cosine and the sine of this number right here. So if I have a computer or calculator or table I can look it up in the table or use a computer or a calculator. I find that the cosine of um, of this number is 0.823, etc. And the sine of it is 0.567. So now what I want to do is I want to uh, plot the point on the unit circle. So when we do this, we graph the circle and we graph this point. Here's where the point is right here. You see. And that's, uh, that's what we're wanting to do.